Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, on the occasion of Bahrain winning fourth place in the UN Telecommunication Infrastructure Index, the TII, under E-Government Development Index, the EGDI. The minister noted that Bahrain has moved up seven places after ranking 11th in the previous report of 2016 and attributed this achievement to the support of His Majesty the King. He also stated that the vision of His Majesty the king has resulted in the development of telecommunications sector and made the kingdom a destination for companies and service providers. He also wished His Majesty the King abundant health and success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Mishal bin Faham Al Silmi, for His Majesty's support to the efforts of the Arab Parliament to serve the causes of the Arab nation. Dr. Al Silmi affirmed that the Arab Parliament's support to Bahrain's measures to maintain its security and stability. He stated that the Arab Parliament had adopted an important resolution in coordination with the Parliament's members on the Parliament's response to politicized reports and decisions issued by a number of regional organizations, especially the recently issued statement by the European Parliament on the human rights in Bahrain. Dr. Asimi stressed uh, the Parliament's refusal of the European uh, Parliament's response to the judicial decision in Bahrain on the saboteurs. He also affirmed the rejection of the Arab Parliament of the European Parliament's way of dealing with delicate matters that contradict the principle of international commitment to prevent and combating crimes, adding that uh, such ways threaten the security of Arab countries. Dr. Dr. Selmi called for dialogue between the Arab and European parliaments regarding human rights issues in Arab countries, urging the EU parliament to adhere to the principles of partnership that bring Arab and European countries together in order to maintain their common interests. He called upon the EU parliament not to follow false, inaccurate information derived from untrustworthy resources, especially in the light of the development in Arab countries, especially in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also noted the efforts of Bahrain in maintaining the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at the Libya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has noted the development of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and affirmed that the government's adoption of policies and programs that strengthen its ability to deal with challenges to continue Bahrain's comprehensive development march in His Majesty's prosperous era. They reviewed Bahrain's latest political, economic, and social achievements and noted the contributions of the democratic march in supporting national gains and promoting Bahrain regionally and internationally.
His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness to support global efforts in achieving sustainable development and adopting them in the National Development Plan and the government's work program. He praised the efforts of the Bahrain delegation led by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs that presented the kingdom's first national voluntary report on 2013. 30 sustainable development goals during the UN's Economic and Social Council's high-level political forum held in New York. The cabinet referred to the coordination committee the recommendations included in the report. Then His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to compete or to complete for or to compete for global leadership in all fields to showcase uh, the kingdom's development and investment. He welcomed the progress made by the kingdom in advancing seven ranks and achieving the fourth position globally in the United Nations Telecommunications Infrastructure Index. He urged to implement the goals of the fourth national telecommunications plan to develop the kingdom and make it a regional and global hub for investment in the field of telecommunication and information technology. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication in implementing the plan. Based on the government's keenness on consolidating financial stability and as part of its efforts to control expenditure, the Prime Minister directed all ministries and government authorities to present programs that would lower expenditure and increase income on the short and medium terms to be reviewed by the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure. The Premier directed to favor Bahraini contractors when settling public bids in accordance with the regulations that govern it in support of the private sector for it to play a vital role in strengthening the national economy. He assigned the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Housing to take the necessary measures. The cabinet to welcome the stance of the American President Donald Trump and the decisions of the United States as well as its firm policies towards Iranian threats and its policies that threaten security and stability because of its nuclear and ballistic programs and support to terrorist and extremist organizations in the Middle East. The cabinet expressed full support to this strategy which will limit the dangers of terrorism and strengthen security and stability in the region. Based on the recommendations of the coordinating committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the cabinet approved amending the definition of terrorism in the current law on prohibiting and combating money laundering and terror funding to be more consistent and in line with internationally agreed definitions upon the recommendation of the Financial Action Task Force on Monday Laundering Group on Money Laundering Group. It also approved a draft law amending the law on prohibiting and combating money laundering and terror funding, as well as the coordinating committee's recommendation of its issuance as soon as possible. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, directed the Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure to study seven sites for housing projects serving 15 villages and regions according to the plan of the Housing Ministry. The meeting approved establishing a branch of the Global Entrepreneurship Network in Bahrain and registering it as an international non-governmental organization. The cabinet approved a memorandum of understanding between the Kingdom's Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and France's Ministry of Agriculture for cooperation on agriculture and fisheries. The cabinet approved holding a semi-regional workshop for the development of women's traditional skills in cooperation with the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, the ISESCO, the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Bahrain National Committee for Education, Science and Culture. The meeting discussed uh, two proposals presented by the Council of Representatives on the establishment of a sport and cultural club in Harad and the other on traffic on one of the intersections in the capital. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received in his office at Al Wadi Palace today the newly appointed Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the strong brotherly Bahraini Emirati relations, noting the unified visions and approaches of the two countries in the face of all challenges. He also hailed the development of UAE in all fields 
deals under the leadership of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, supported by the efforts of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the newly appointed ambassador and wished him success in carrying out his diplomatic duties. For his part, the ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain affirmed his commitment to further enhancing the brotherly relations between the two countries. He also praised the sustainability of comprehensive development in the kingdom in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Khalif bin Salman Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units and within the framework of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to meet the needs of citizens and in line with the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in implementing its work program, the ministry noted that it complete, completed more than 3,000 units in the city which were constructed in partnership with the private sector. It stated that Salman Town's housing project is one of the main projects included or included in the government's work plan and that it's committed to completing 25,000 units before the end of 2018 in accordance with the commitment to the social housing sector based on the Royal Directive to build 40,000 housing units. The Ministry noted the government's keenness and prioritization of the housing sector to meet the needs of the citizens.